I solemnly swear that I'll review this shoe. What's going on everyone? My name is John. You're watching Soul Post and this is another Soul Post unboxing. Today we take a look at the Harry Potter Vans Slip-On Marauder's Map. Now this shoe was part of the Harry Potter and Vans collaboration. We've done a couple of the shoes already and we're gonna do another one as well. This shoe draws inspiration from the Marauder's Map which was a major plot line in the third book. It was uh, made by uh, Harry Potter's dad as well as his Hogwarts friends. And basically what the Marauder's Map was, was a map that could detect uh, where anybody was on the Hogwarts campus. So say if like Harry Potter was in the common room on the map, it would say in the common room area, Harry Potter. And like as he moved, it would move too because wizard magic. Uh, it was used as a big plot point for the third book, but was used less sparingly as the series went on. Because, uh, especially in the seventh book, they weren't not, they weren't at Hogwarts that much. Uh, spoiler alert! But uh, yeah, first let's take a look at the box. The box is the white and gold Harry Potter and Vans box with the gold Harry Potter and Vans logos in the center, as well as the bottom left. And you've got the logos on all four sides. And you've got the logos on all four sides of the shoe. Now let's take a look at the shoe. The shoe features an all over print. There are subtle changes between the two shoes because it's supposed to essentially show the entire Marauders map. You know, you can only do so much with the shoe, but uh, they did their best to try and uh, accommodate. I'll take note of a couple of things that I saw around the shoe and you know, I'll talk about. On the right shoe, on the toe cap, you got the word arithmetic, and arithmetic is this math wizard class uh, that Hermione, one of the characters took uh, when she was taking like 13 classes, it's weird, uh, in the third book. And also, if you notice, there are little footprints and the footprints have waffle soles because Vans. I think that's a really nice touch. On the toe cap of the right shoe, moving towards more so the tongue, on the left shoe, you got the words Room of Doom. And what that was is a major plot point in the third book. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it, but uh, we find out a big plot point about one of the characters uh, that they had been uh, that they had been hiding, and that's kind of like where they've been they had been found. The insole is the checkerboard insole with the Harry Potter and Vans logo, and it's in that cream off white color. Also, and I don't know if it's gonna pick it up or not, but actually on the liner uh, of the toe, it actually says, "I solemnly swear I'm up to no good." And what that is, is essentially the call sign for the uh, map. So if you open the map, you know, just opening it, it's not gonna say anything, but you have to tap your wand on it and say, I solemnly swear a much to no good. And then the map actually shows what it's supposed to do. It actually functions how it's supposed to. Uh, so that's a really nice touch. Uh, and it's a very subtle detail as well. Moving towards the heel of the left shoe, in addition to the extra waffle print and Latin phrases, you have the phrase that's keep an eye out for ghosts. Uh, and the reason why is on the other side, and I'll actually get to that in a second. On the heel, you've got the words mischief managed, and that's basically how to close the Marauders map. So you tap it again after you're finished with it, say mischief managed, and all this stuff goes away. Also, you've got the red Vans off the wall logo. On the medial of the left shoe, you've got the word Portis Amago, and that's basically where Keep an Eye Out for Ghosts ties in because Portis Amago was this room in the third book, which was basically like this ghost hangout spot or like uh, where the portraits used to hang out. And um, so that would make sense for on the other side to say Keep an Eye Out for Ghosts because you would see the ghosts uh, in that room. Uh, although ghosts weren't really a big deal. Like we just kind of chill. They weren't like evil or anything except for uh, Peeves who is this really mischievous guy. Um, he was a troll. He was a troll before trolls were trolls. All the rest of the ghosts were pretty helpful. The midsole is white with the aforementioned black print that says, I solemnly swear I'm up to no good. And you've got the waffle outsole in this dark brown color. Uh, I actually really think this is a solid shoe. Uh, this is one of the uh, shoes that, again, it doesn't do too, too much. You know, we've had plenty of Vans slip-ons that had all over print. Uh, but this one is really nice because uh, it has that Harry Potter tie-in and it also has little subtle details between the left shoe and the right shoe that are different. And I think that uh, it's one of the nicer looking shoes because of it. Now let's get some detail looks at the shoe and I'll catch you after the jump.
Harry Potter Vans slip-on Marauder's Map is now available at select Vans retailers and Vans.com for a retail price of $70. All right, everyone, this has been another Soul Post unboxing. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell icon so you kept up with everything we do on the Soul Post channel. Check out the soulpost.com for more news, features, and purchase links for all the shoes we feature on the channel. Also, you can follow us everywhere at the Soul Post. I'm John from Soul Post. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.